So far, our WordPress site only has one page, kind of this home page for the most part. So I'm going to open up our folder here. So wp-content and then themes and then custom theme. And we've basically been building up this one page here, this index.php, which kind of serves as our home page by default. Okay, so I'm going to click run project and then grab this URL and open it in a new browser tab. Okay, so here we go. We can kind of see what our basic site looks like. And this is kind of our only page. So what we want to do is have multiple pages because most sites do have multiple pages and they're probably going to look different. Before we start building out more pages, what we're going to do is first clean this up. As your website starts to get larger, you're going to have to start dealing with more and more files over here inside of your theme folder. Okay, because you don't want to necessarily have one large file containing all of the code. Okay, so that's where this idea of partials comes in. So we're going to explore partials here. And then we're also going to further explore template files and pages and things like that. Just kind of adding in multiple templates over here to store and call upon depending on which page we visit over here. Let's start with partials. So the first thing that you should know is that with your home page and really across the site, you're probably going to have a header section up here and a footer down below. Okay, so the header section will usually have like your logo and your navigation and then your footer might, you know, have your brand name and then some links to common pages, things like that, which we haven't added yet. So let's start by cleaning this up a little bit. And what you'll see a lot of WordPress themes do is have a partial file dedicated for the header of the site. Okay, so just follow along and you'll see what I mean. What I'm going to do is right click on this folder name, our theme folder, and create a new file. So click new file down there, and we're going to call it header.php. So this is a WordPress recognized file. So when you type it out like that and spell it out as header.php, WordPress immediately recognizes this as a file that you're going to use for storing all of your header code. Okay, so what we're going to do is basically trim this index file down. We're currently on the index file here. We're going to trim it down and kind of add some reusability to our website. And what I mean by that is we're going to grab all of this code from the navigation menu up and store it inside of this header.php file. And that way, we'll be able to kind of import the code from this header file into any other file in our site. So what I'm going to do and follow along is just copy from here to the very top here. I'm going to highlight all of this. We're going to go past the opening body tag, past the navigation tag, all the way down to the closing navigation tag right here. Okay, so you want to make sure you've selected all of that code right there that we've added. And we're just going to cut it. So Command X on a Mac to cut. You can also just go up here to edit and then cut this way. So I'm going to cut that out. Make sure I'm on this file. So cut that out. And leave this file exactly the way it is for now. We'll, we'll change the indentation later. And I'm going to double click on header.php. And I'm just going to paste it in directly like that. Okay, so it's kind of like an incomplete file, but that's how partials work. It's just kind of the opening parts of our HTML, the opening HTML tag itself, opening body tag, but we're not closing out any of this other stuff up here. We're not closing out the body tag, and we're not closing out the HTML tag, and you'll see why, because we're going to do this for the footer. So leave it exactly like that. Whatever you paste it in, that's perfect. So I'm going to save that. Okay, and now if I go over here with my server running and refresh and make sure first that I save this as well, the index file. So save both of those files, go over here and refresh. You'll see everything is kind of gone. We've lost all of that header code, all of the CSS. And so the way we can get it back is with one simple line of code. All we have to do is this. At the very top, we'll just say 
PHP and then get underscore header. Just like that with a semicolon. Okay, so now if I save the file after adding just this one line of code, let's go over here and refresh. And there we go, it's back again, it's working perfectly. And so just to explain what we've done, we've created a separate template partial called header.php. This is what we call a partial because it's just got a partial snippet of code. And then we've removed all of our header code up until the navigation menu. We've removed all of that from index and loaded it into this partial. Then from here, we've injected one line of code called get header. And this line of code, basically what it does is it looks inside of our theme directory for a file called header.php, spelled exactly like that. And then it just grabs the code from inside of it, all of this code, and it injects it in the top. So we really haven't made much of a change if you think about it. It's still dropping in the same exact code to make this page work. It's the same code we had at the beginning of this video, except now we have the benefit of a much cleaner index page. It's much more simplified.